Today I show you Metromorph from Crowdforge Studio. Before we get into today's video, I just want to give a shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. Bob the Beholder chose the following Patreon supporters to receive the GGGG for December of 2020. Jeremy Gustafson was chosen for the Archon Studio Dragon. Michael Hansen received Last Aurora. Richard Daggett received Super Fantasy Brawl and Richard McBain received the LED lit laser cut light. Thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, you guys make this channel what it is. And if you're interested in checking out this month's GGGG, go ahead and click on the Patreon link in the descriptions below. Jacob from Crowdforge Studios reached out to me and said that he had some kits remaining from the Kickstarter campaign that he ran, I think a couple of years ago, and he just delivered this past spring in April of 2020. And so he was kind enough to send me two sets of this cardboard terrain. He does have very limited stock, so if you are interested, go ahead and check out the links below to head on over to the website and you can pick up some of the copies that are remaining. But I do know that he is planning on a future Kickstarter so if you really like this terrain, make sure to subscribe as I will be announcing in the future when he launches. One of the things that I really like about cardboard terrain is that you don't have to paint and that it is relatively quick and easy to assemble as well as store away. So if you're lacking in storage space, I think cardboard terrain is really something that you need to consider as well as the relatively cheap cost. This is the cheapest option in terms of filling out a whole gaming table with terrain. And I think this is an excellent option from Crowdforge Studios. So let's go ahead and dive right in and see what is available. So this what Jacob sent to me was this triple set. Here is the core set and I apologize for the overhead lights uh, reflecting off of the box. And then this is the elevation add-on, the cover, add on here and then some extra clips now each one of these if you buy separately i think is about fifty dollars us buying all three together gives you a deal and it's about 115 dollars us for three packs so let's go ahead and take a look at what is inside here So these are super cool posters that would fit well in any sci-fi or even modern terrain. It looks has that sort of retro look to it as well. So I love these posters that you can stick onto your buildings. One of the things that I think is really cool are these stickers that protects your cardboard so that the clip going on and off all the time it protects it from wear. So that's ingenious I think in this system and you get three sheets of that. And then this is just an overview of all of your wall components and sections and some basic instructions. I also know that there are how-to videos online. And it looks like you are getting three bags of clips. And let's go ahead and just take a look at one of these expansion boxes just to see. Looks like um, it comes with the protective stickers, but not the posters. And instead of three of these, I think you get two of these. So it does look like with the expansions that they are, um, they have less overall material in them and it's supposed to supplement your core box set. So definitely more to be found in the core box set. This pretty thick quality card stock and seems to punch out easily. Let's 
Okay, now before I combine some of these pieces, I just wanted to show you how much space each of the kits took up. So over here from this point on to the left is the core kit. And as I predicted, that takes up the most amount of space and you get the most amount of pieces. And it looks like that kit alone is enough terrain that will fill up a kill team table. So you actually don't need any additional kits, I think, in order to have enough terrain. Now this middle section is the elevation kit. And what I like about this kit is it's providing a lot of walkways. And there's even parts that are like two levels high where you can create a lot of walkways that way. I wouldn't get this kit just by itself because I think uh, you do need the core set to be able to combine some of these pieces together. And then finally, this is the cover set over here. And actually, I don't have enough base pieces to create a lot of structures. I created a structure here, but a lot of what the cover set is providing, which I like, are guardrails. So a lot of these kinds of pieces here, along with edge pieces, um, more see-through um, structures like this framework. So this really is more of an accessories piece, I think, and um, provides some of the soft cover that you're gonna get along the edges and the railings to your core set as well as the elevation set. Ele elevation set also comes with these stairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine these pieces so that you can see what it all looks like. But um, yeah, just wanted to show you what the core set looks like and then the elevation set here and then finally the cover set, which I feel like is mostly accessories to, to provide sort of half height walls um, along the edges. So I'll go ahead and combine all these together. So here you have it, uh, check it out. It doesn't quite fill up a four foot by four foot, but definitely will fill up a three foot by three foot table. And I packed the terrain fairly densely. So this set will definitely work for terrain intense games like Infinity and Star Breach, which is my favorite rule set for sci-fi. This is actually plenty of terrain. And what I really like is a lot of these rails, which is providing soft cover for your troops. So I actually think getting the expansion that provides a lot of these rails is good, even though there's a lot of it that I didn't use, as you can see over here. So you're getting a lot of extra pieces for that expansion set. But overall, I think this makes your tabletop look really good. And clearly you can be playing other games like Necromunda where you do need height and a lot of terrain. So I think this is a great option, especially for if you get the three pack for about $115, uh, you're going to be able to fill up most of your board. And again, as I mentioned, I packed the terrain pretty densely and if you were to spread it out, I do think it would work. But clearly, with a game like Kill Team or with Star Breach, having densely packed terrain is going to be a benefit to some of your armies that are going to be more swarm and melee combat factions. So that really is entirely up to you. Uh, and it is highly configurable. So this is somewhat of a random board that I set up. So very impressed with this. And I think it looks really good. And one of the other things that I like is a lot of these gangways are 50 millimeters wide. So that larger base models like this guy uh, definitely fits along these gangways. Because sometimes these gangways are too narrow for the larger models. But I like in this set that they are plenty wide enough for your larger models to be able to sit along these gangways. So that's something that I'm really impressed with this set as well. But it looks really good and definitely think it is a viable set. Especially, again, if you don't want to paint and it goes together really quickly and then stores away really uh, flat and doesn't take up a lot of space either. So this is definitely a good option. So there you have it. I think this is an excellent option for futuristic sci-fi games, especially this industrial look I think is fantastic. And I think the amount of height that you can achieve as well as the fact that these clips 
Uh, you put stickers on them in order to camouflage them and I think it blends in super well. Again, if you're interested, go ahead and check out his Facebook page as well as his website. Again, links in the descriptions below. Also for this month of January of 2021, the GGGG is one of these sets. So Jacob was kind enough to send me two sets, one of them for giveaway. So if you're interested in that, check out the Patreon link. Also for this month, we are doing a, a number of other cardboard terrain giveaway that includes a number of sets from Battle Systems, both the Fantasy set, the Shanty Town, as well as the Outpost. If you want to get in on that, become a Patreon. Again, links in the descriptions below. Otherwise, happy gaming, and we'll see you next time.